news and weather together. Thank you, Vince. Here we go again. They're back with the sandbags in Thienesville today, preparing for more rain and the possibility of more flooding. And those sandbags are proving pretty popular in an area where more weather is making its way. Our Justin Williams is live now with more. They're stacking them up, huh, Justin? There's no doubt there. They had to stack them up, and you're talking about the platforms off in the distance behind me, Mary. I caught up with Public Works employees a little earlier here in Mequon, and they were stacking these platforms, they say, up on higher ground. They were not about to try to put them in their proper places off in the distance because they're ready for that Milwaukee River to rise again. The water has this area to fill up into as well. Lori Schaefer surveys the situation in her Thienesville business's backyard, which remains lined with sandbags after a contractor placed them here last week. They're still here now because you heard what? That it was supposed to rain the rest of the week, so we are going to leave them out until we are sure that there won't be water rising again. Schaefer says the measure is precautionary after she's seen her heart of the village daycare center take in water in years past. So I thought I'd just be safe, rather safe than sorry, and get the sandbags down. I and mean, the waters have come and gone uh, many times, so they, they know the drill. Andy LaFond is the village of Thienesville's director of public works. He estimates roughly 700 sandbags have been picked up Wednesday by Thienesville business and homeowners, even as the village expects to get less rain than originally anticipated these next couple of days. We're still taking all measures to, to be ready and aware and uh, ready to mobilize with anything we need. Including the barricades, which LaFon says were not needed following last week's thorough soaking. We did fantastic last week. We had uh, no business closures, no road closures in Thienesville. Meanwhile, in neighboring Mequon. That one I feel kind of sorry for, but I know they're pumping their basement. Residents of Shoreland Drive are hoping they too can keep the closures away. But if not, they may have something of a precipitation party. One year, 11 o'clock at night, we're all down there having a party in the street because that's as far as we could get down this way. If there is any partying, it will not be today. Folks are preparing today for this rain, and the folks who are forced to deal with this deluge say for all the frustration this April rain may cause them, a little bit later this summer when things clear up and they're out on their decks, they'll be reminded why they love living and working along the river here. That's the latest from Mequon this evening. I'm Justin Williams, Fox 6 News. Especially when you can have a precipitation party, is that what you called it? <laughs> That's what I called it. <laughs> All right, Justin, thanks. A party of a different kind for Clay Matthews. I mean, yeah. quite a feat, even for Clay, the Packers linebacker has a new contract. He sure does. The numbers for number 52 are what you'd expect.